Ireland. Um, it was found in an attic. And you just think, oh, well, I don't know. You know, you look at a piece of film and even if it's got a marking on, you don't really know what's on there. In most cases, it's a big disappointment. Um, the frames of the fragile film clearly showed an old ship, but running it through a projector for more detail would have destroyed it. Des Cox, sailor turned documentary maker, took it to a specialist film unit. They said, Des, you've only got one opportunity for it to go through the telecine, the copying process, and it's probably just going to tear to pieces. Are you prepared for that? And I said, yes. Saying a little prayer, <laughs> and as it went through, you could see the film shredding, but it had copied as it went through. So we ended up with this copy, and I'm, it is the rarest maritime film I have ever seen or have known of. It shows life on board the Olympic Ocean Liner, sister ship to the Titanic. It was shown in cinemas to promote the Olympic a decade after the Titanic disaster. This is how transatlantic days unfolded aboard the Titanic's almost identical sister ship for the 2,400 passengers and 900 crew. What it means is for the first time, you are seeing exactly what it would have been like to have sailed on the Titanic. Not as seen through the eyes of Hollywood, but as it really was. The sound of the bugler means dinner is about to be served. There are 60 cooks, 14 butchers, 20 bakers. The kitchens produce a daily tonne of potatoes and three tonnes of meat. There are nine decks on which to build up a healthy appetite. Over the years, Des has assembled one of the world's biggest archives of maritime history, rare, restored film of British shipping's golden age, including the maiden voyage of the Queen Mary and the Lusitania leaving New York on her final voyage before being sunk by a German U-boat. But it's this film, a film once destined for the skip, that is his proudest possession. So what of its future? I haven't given thought as to what should happen. I think it will bring a lot of satisfaction to an awful lot of people who can sit there and see those scenes for the first time. And that, to me, is the greatest reward. John Ryle, ITV News.